tangible benefits for the students and colleges. And it is possible only and only if we have very systematic governance. What I'll request is that three months from now, we will have a meeting with um, uh, Shrikant of TASK and see which are the colleges here are actually taking benefit of curriculum mastermind and the teacher in, um, teacher's um, immersive experience. And now the ball is in your court. In Telangana, no college should say that we need more interaction with industry. We want industry to work with us because HICIA is there to support you. The ball is in your court. Now you have to grab the opportunity that is there in front of you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your valuable questions and suggestions. Thank you very much, ma'am and sir, from Infosys and HICIA for sharing the insights. I am quite confident that both these initiatives will be creating a new chapter of the journey of employability of students. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, like a real re relay race, I would like to invite my colleague, Ms. Durga, to take you to the next proceedings. Durga, over to you. Thank you, Deepa. A very good morning to all. It's time to invite our dignitaries. It's indeed my privilege and an honor to invite our chief guest for the day, Honorable Minister of IT, Industries, Municipal Administration, and Urban Development, Telangana State, Shri KT Ramarao Garu. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Task is the brainchild of our Honorable Minister. Welcome, Honorable Minister, sir, and thank you for gracing us with your presence. Next, I would like to invite the guiding force behind Task, the guest of honor for the day, our Honorable Principal Secretary, ITENC Industries and Commerce, and Vice Chairman Task, Sri Jayesh Ranjangar. <laughs> and I would like to invite uh, Sri Krishnamachari Srikant Garu. And I would like to in, uh, invite Mr. Tirmala from Infosys. And now I would like to invite Task CEO, Mr. Srikant Sinha, to join our dignitaries on the dais. Uh, so now I invite a CEO task, Sri Srikant Sinha, to set the content. Um, Honorable Minister, sir, the guiding force, the vision behind task, Honorable Principal Secretary, IT Industries, Sri Jayesh Ranjanji, the person who has been believing us, supporting us, and making this event today a reality, Honorable Sri Jayesh Ranjanji. My namesake, Krishmachari Srikant, the former captain of the Indian cricket team and the board of selectors, chairman for the board of selectors. Welcome, Mr. Tirumala, the CLO from Infosys. Ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed a pleasure for me to be present amongst all of you here today. As I welcome the honorary, the honorable dignitaries on the dais, and just set the context for today for this particular session. Task over the years has uh, partnered with a lot of organization. In fact, we work closely with 80 organizations as of today. But today we are entering in uh, with a new MOU with 26 organizations and renewing 27 earlier ones. This entire MOU, Minister Sir, would impact 1,50,000 youth of Telangana. 
while at one side the corporates are coming forward to support our youth, our colleges are not longer behind. In fact, all these students, etc., are registering with task and becoming part of this and benefiting uh, uh, from these MOUs that we are signing. With this note, because the Honorable Minister is already delayed, I would like to end the thing and um, uh, request my namesake to start the opening. Krish, why don't you come and address the audience? People have been taking photographs with you, but let them hear you also. Thank you. Um, Honorable Minister, Mr. K.T. Ramrao, Mr. J. S. Ranjan, Principal Secretary, Shrikant Sinha, Thiru, Thirumala, I'll say, okay. Dear friends, I think I've been listening to all of you for the last two hours. Mine will be a totally different approach, like, just like a cricketing approach. So I'm into, uh, the re you all must be wondering what am I sitting, it's sitting here for. It's what happened that the same, uh, uh, I can call him fondly KTR and Jayesh, and they were the people who were, si when I signed the contract with uh, uh, Task MOU, we have a small company called AA Edutech Private Limited. We are into spoken English skills, which are joint venture with uh, British Council, and we have a certificate, certificate for British Council. So it's a spoken English skills product. And we have a career development skills product, which uh, some people refer to as life skills, some people as soft skills. I don't like to use the word life skills and soft skills. I call it career development skills because uh, we use it a lot in cricket. It's about leadership skills, stress management skills, innovation skills, communication skills, teamwork skills. And then, of course, we have a little bit of job skills products called uh, entrepreneurship skills and retail sales skills. This is our product. I mean, sorry, to, I, mean, I don't want to talk my business. But my product itself is a, actually a motivational product. How many of you have seen the movie in 1983? Can I say majority? Okay. Because, I mean, you'll have to understand when the cricket and life goes in parallel. Everything goes in parallel. I heard uh, Madam Manisha talking. I heard Thiru talking. I heard so many people asking multiple questions. But you all missed the basic point in life, I'm sorry to say. How much ever you need have, have I'm an engineer, by the way. I'm a qualified electrical engineer from College of Engineering, Indy. No, those days there was nothing called sports quota. I had to get 95% in my pre-university to get into my engineering. And I passed out of engineering 72%, which is the easiest thing to do. So if you ask me whether engineering stuff, honestly speaking, the answer is no. If you say getting a degree is e e it's the easiest thing. All you have to do is 10 years question papers. Go through the 10 years question papers. You can guess about five question papers. So there are eight questions, three live in choice, write the five questions, get 80%. That's what most of the students do, even do today. Do you all agree with me or not as college principals or not? Yes. Tell me the truth. So we really don't learn. We really learn only post our life, post our education. And that is the basic point I thought all of you missed today. You're talking technical questions, you're talking this, that, that, blah, blah, blah. Man, in life, first and foremost, you need self-belief to succeed. <laughs> Which is why I said the movie 83. If India was, have become the world champions today, or the world champions in India, they, today we call ourselves, we rule the world cricket today, right? It all started with one man called Kapil Dev, who led us to a 1983 World Cup. <laughs> that guy had tremendous self-belief. And if you guys all have passion, self-belief, and tremendous positive energy, you can succeed in anything you want. Forget about all this, all these questions you all ask us. I don't believe in all that at all. They are all too technical, which is all but is there. But this is the most important thing the students need today, which has been neglected, and which I believe it should, it should start from, in my opinion, uh, KDR and Jay, sir, is that KTR, I can call you KTR. I call, I, I call him Jayesh only, fondly, because KTR has seen me play, get hit on my face, have 27 stitches in Lal Bahadur, uh, Lal Bahadur uh, Stadium in 1987 was his Pakistan incidentally. That was way back in Pakistan when we played the one day. So the basic thing is you need to, see 90% of people lack 
that motivation that courage the confidence life is all about confidence my dear friends life is all about confidence if you give confidence to indians today we will do wonders that's what is happening here that's what is happening in task that is what your shrikant sinha jayesh ktr and everybody is trying to do give confidence to youngsters so that the youth of india can shine and if my opinion you are all only talking from college level i would go go one step lower the whole thing has to start from school level you know i tell you a real life story i just start with this this is my about my own story in school you know in the 10th standard 11th standard they like to write write an essay right what do you want to become where when you grow up or something like that i wanted to say i my mind was to be a big shot i don't know what this god am big shot was at the age of 10 at the age of say when i 10 standard when you are 14 years 15 years big shot means shrikant means four people should know who the shrikant is that is was my desire so i always believe if you have a deep rooted innermost desire and if you follow it passionately and if you are able to do it passionately and follow it with positive energy you can achieve anything you want in life forget about all this technology technology and all don't mistake me at all i am a technology myself i am a technology business myself i am a digital learning myself but i'm just saying it goes beyond that i want trying to say yes we all need all your inputs your technology the infosys of the world the tasks of the world the it's of the world everybody yes but life is beyond that and that is what i want to tell you guys here please instill that into the students that confidence in the students and say guys you can do it they will do it good luck god bless you thank you sir and uh, thank you ceo sir uh, under your leadership <laughs> since kedia reminded me he said you looking younger and younger your energy levels are growing all i talk about is everybody is here almost a technocrat right all the 90% are technical people only one rule in life energy can neither be destroyed nor created it can be transformed and transmitted so go with a lot of energy my dear friends everything will go well thank you so much sir uh, thank you uh, shrikant sinha sir under your leadership tas has touched the lives of many students through trainings and won prestigious awards on that note uh, let me call upon my colleague swati to start with the mou exchange program thank you durga ladies and gentlemen as the african proverb goes if you want to walk fast walk alone if you want to walk far walk together today task is entering into partnership with 25 new partners and reinforcing partnership with 20 existing partners i would now request the dignitaries to please step forward for the mou exchange i would like to invite mr gauri shankar mr sayed sajil mr narendra gaud from 24 by 7 ai request ktr garu to please hand over the memento to the partner i would request mr barni kumar mr ajit kumar from 360 dg I would now I request Mr. Ku, Mr. Rud, Mr. Kumar J D G and Mr. Colonel Pradeepta Jain from Kalyani Bharat Forge. Now. 
Now I request Mr. Manjunath from Selenoys. Now I request Mr. Benedict from CSS Corp. Now I request Mr. Samad Bajaj from designer class. Now I request Mr. Madan, Mr. Pankaj Singh from Head Held High. Now I request Mr. Sri Jaipal Reddy, Mr. M. Prabhakar, Mr. Nagish from Hetiro. Now I request Mr. Tirmala, Mr. Nivas from Infosys Springboard. Now I request Mr. Tirmala, Mr. Nivas from Infosys Springboard. I would like to invite Ms. Padmaja Ramani and Ms. Raghu from Infosys Mamata. Now I request Mr. Vankat, Mr. Chakravarti from InnoHat system. Now I request Mr. Venkatan Madhu from InnoHat system. Now I 
Now I request Dr. S. Anand Reddy, Dr. Srinivas Rao, Mr. Sachin Chaudhary, Dr. Gangadhar from ISTD. Now I request Mr. KVB Reddy, MD LNT Metro, Mr. NVS Reddy, MD HMRL from LNT Metro Rail. And I request please to come for please team to come forward for group picture. Now I request Dr. Sangeeta Sham Sundar, Dr. Sharmuk, Mr. Tani Sharora from Monster. Now I request Mr. Manoj Sunil Shetty, Mr. Faninder, Mr. Viswajit Raut from My Startup TV. Uh, now I request Ms. Kanika, Mr. Raju Charkuri from Nagaro. Uh, excuse me, cameraman, like uh, you're blocking the live uh, telecast of the program. Could you please uh, give way to the uh, guest so that they can reach the dais in time? Thank you. Now I request Mr. Krishna Das Meenan, Mr. Sumit Malohar, and Mr. Ramesh Pispati from PGK Technologies. Now I request Mr. Chiranjeevi, Mr. Umash Maheshwar, Ms. Krishna Madhavi Kalyan from Premier Energies. Now I 
request Ms. Reena Dayal, Mr. Ramesh Ketar Raju, Mr. Arun Pati from Kuwait Council of India. Mr. Subhajit Saha from Resolute. Now I request Mr. Rajesh Chandrasekhar, Mr. G.J. Kumar, Dr. Avinash from Tally Education. Sure. I would like to invite Mr. Rohit Ravinder, Mr. Sufiana Khan, from TAP Academy. Now I request Mr. Rajat Sahi, Mr. Anuj Gupta, Mr. Saket Chaurasya from Vahan. I would request Ms. Adapali Sandhya, Mr. Mahat Pratham, Mr. Raju from Vidal. I would request Mr. Danya from Rubicon. Ms. I would not now request Major Vinit Kumar and ILN Rao Garu from Cyber Space Foundation. Mr. Krishma Chari Srikant from A. A. Edutech.
Okay, I have to. Now I request NO Foundation team. Now the renewals, Amazon Web Services, Cisco, CMAT, EDS Technologies, Exilla, Generation Next, Hire Me, Haisya, IBM Skill Bell, Insofe, Nandi Foundation Mahindra Pride Class, Oracle Academy, Salesforce, Skyfi Labs, Smart Bridge, Smart Infra, TSAT, Taplingua, VI Path, Unschool. Let's call at least 10, 10 of them on the stage. so that at least you have a photo, okay. right? We'll exchange emails later. Yeah, may I request uh, uh, Mr. Amit, Amit Krishnan uh, from COAP uh, to exchange them, please. It's, it's a government of Telangana. Yes, sir. So AWS, Cisco, CMAT, EDS Technology, XLR, Generation Next, Hire me. Can you all please come up on the stage? Because we are running short of time. We would, you know, uh, but not miss the opportunity of taking a photo with the Honorable Minister. Therefore, please come up on the stage so that we can uh, take a photo with him. Please. Momentos. Hire Me, Haisya, IBM Skill Bill, Insofe, Nandi Foundation, Mahindra Pride Class, Oracle Academy, Salesforce, SkyFi Labs. Request you to please come. Haisia, IBM Skill Bill, Insofe, Na Nandi Foundation Mahindra Pride Class, Oracle Academy, Salesforce, Skyfi Labs, Smart Bridge. Smart Infra, 
PSAT, TAP Lingua, UI Path, Unschool, Access, Access Health, IOCS. And mental no. together. Get, get together. I request mentor together team We also have two universities who are signing up with us today. I would now invite Mr. Lakshmi Kant Rathod, VC Palmuri University, and Professor Venkat Ramana from RGUKT University to exchange the MOU. Some of the students whose life is going to be impacted are here with us today. I would now request Mr. Unachanu, Management, Government Affairs and Public Policy, Google, to join the dignitaries. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the awardees of the Google Career Certificate Scholarship Program, built and taught by Google to prepare learners from all backgrounds for high demand skills it launched certification courses to create pathways to jobs in IT for people with no experience. These girls are Bhumika Kindodi, Nishita Bonipalli, Kyati S. Desai, A. Meghna, B. Aparna, J. Bhagya Hindavi, K. Swati, Harsha, S. Kalpana, Mamidi Prasanna, Bantu Deepika, G. Divya Sri, Pullekudi Bhargavi, Tigala Maitri, K. Purnima, R. A. Bhargavi, B. Meghna, Amulya, Pratibha and Shravani from different districts of Telangana. And also, I would request one person from the college management to accompany with the students on the dais. Today is
is a proud day for them as they not only get a scholarship to do the program of their choice but also their dream of being with the honorable ktr garu is also fulfilled student students can you please come front you can get down students please come front students please stand on the bottom line Uh, yeah yeah can you please come by college by student college and a student please let, let let us not uh, make a crowd here please it it will be inconvenience for everyone on the dais as well as other guests also please please cooperate with us bhumika आचार्य डिग्री कॉलेज संगारेडी एक्सक्यूज मी वी आर अनाउंसिंग बाय कॉलेज कैन यू प्लीज कम can you please come along with your student i request college management i request college chairman secu uh, secretary principals i request you to come along with your student please please do not crowd excuse me due to some sec security reasons i request everyone to leave the dais except the guests everyone please leave the dais i request everyone everyone except the dignitaries everyone please leave the dais i request only students to be at the dais along with the dignitaries May I request to please leave the dais? Please leave the dais, except the students. And the other MOU exchanges will happen soon after this with IT Secretary, sir. So please, uh, in with in in the inter interest of time, we would request you to please stay with us. Thank you. thank you um i i think if people have not taken a photo quickly take your photo and step down i think we need to continue with the program further please go back please go back please take your seats please take your seats we are still continuing with the function
those who have done please leave the dais can we quickly move on please request you to please move on move on clear the dais please thank you those who are done please move on request you to please leave the dais Please take your seats. Please request the guests. Please take your seats. Please kindly be on your seats. Oh. Students, just be aside. Students, I request the students to be aside. 
Requesting the, all the guests to be seated, please. Please be seated. Thank you. Government of Telangana. Government of Telangana is also signing MOU with Co App in social media platform. Now I invite Mr. Amit Krishnan from Co App. I request everyone to take your seats, please. Next to the I'll now like to invite Dr. Shanta Tautam, Chief Innovation Officer, and Pranay Kumar, Head of Partnerships, TSIC, to come on to the dais. And I request the Honorable Minister and other dignitaries to do the poster launch of Intinta Innovators. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for which we all have waiting eagerly for. Stars shine at night, some stars shine at bright daylight. It is our pleasure to welcome such a star, our honorable chief guest, the young and dynamic minister of IT, industries, municipal administration, and urban development, Telangana State, honorable minister, Sri KT Rama Rao Garu. Thank you, Shrikant Sinha, CEO of TASK, uh, Jayesh Ranjan Garu, our Principal Secretary, uh, Industry and IT. Krishnamachari Shrikant Garu, I think a man who needs no introduction, the most energetic guy in the room. Thank you, Chris, uh, for uh, being in the room. And um, I thank all the dignitaries gathered here. I see lots of uh, vice chancellors, I see lots of academicians, I see lots of uh, entrepreneurs, I also see lots of uh, industry partners. I thank all of you, in fact, uh, and I also apologize because uh, we ended up showing late. My apologies, my sincere regrets, because uh, we had a prior program which ran, uh, you know, over, th over the time that we actually had stipulated. So my apologies uh, for making you wait as well. Delighted that uh, today task has, in fact, uh, entered into 26 new partnerships, um, you know, ranging from life sciences to locomotive, lo uh, loco pilot training to digital well-being to fashion, textiles, personality development, accounting, you know, English speaking, job seeking, et cetera, et cetera. There's plenty of them. I congratulate each and every one of the partners and particularly the Telangana Academy for Skills and Knowledge. I think you guys deserve a huge round of applause. On top of the new partnerships, about 27 renewals of uh, existing partnerships have also happened with, um, you know, esteemed uh, partners such as Bharat Forge, Kalyani Rafael, Cisco, Amazon Web Services, IBM, Infosys, um, and AA Edutech, Mentor Together, Tapalingua, Mahindra, Nandi Foundation, Salesforce, SmartBridge, Unschool, UiPath, etc. Also was delighted and extremely pleased 
to see um, the Google Career Certification Scholarship, which we had signed about, I think, six months ago, um, also take off and about 30, in fact, sorry, 20 students, mostly girls, uh, almost 20 of them coming from the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe background, uh, being supported, and them in fact in turn creating an aspiration for the rest of their cohorts. Um, as you all know, this uh, scholarship program is centered around six courses, IT automation, IT support, UX design, data analytics, project management, digital marketing, and e-commerce on Coursera platform. The other thing I also wanted to quickly uh, mention, today employment and employment creation remains um, the biggest challenge for every government across the world. The biggest challenge for all of us, every government across the world, is to contain unemployment, to ensure that skilled manpower, skilled think force is provided an opportunity to excel in terms of all the opportunities that are coming up. As we all know, Telangana is one of the most progressive states in India which has been able to create uh, a great positive momentum in terms of attracting new industries into our country and into our state. We are very proud of the reformatory policies that Honorable Chief Minister has actually created in Telangana, be it the TSI pass or be it you know, the TEEP ride which provide equal opportunities to all. But what I'm even more excited about is the institutions that have been created in Telangana. Because, you know, we are all temporary. We are, none of us is permanent. Neither my position nor this life for that matter is permanent. So what matters really is not individuals but institutions. What matters really is processes, not persons, individuals. So what we've been able to do is something truly, uh, you know, that I take a lot of pride in personally. For instance, the building that we are sitting in, the tea hub. Now this, for some, this might just be a physical building. For me, I believe this is a one third of what we have in terms of our global ambition. This is one piece of the world's largest innovation campus. Now, we would like to bring about a culture of entrepreneurship. We would like to bring about a culture of enterprise into our youngsters, catch them very young. So I'm thankful to TSIC, the Telangana State innovation cell, you know, for uh, launching a program to promote rural entrepreneurship, to promote social entrepreneurship, to catch our youngsters young, at a very, very early stage in high school. The Intinta Innovator Program, which basically means, in, uh, in roughly translated into English, basically means uh, an innovator in every single home. You know, we, all of us, in fact, in our day-to-day uh, -day rigor, we do multiple things. But I think uh, uh, one of the most important lessons we all pick up on a day-to-day -day basis in our daily routine is how to improve the processes that we work on on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, exactly, uh, that is exactly what Intinta Innovator is also trying to accomplish. Coming out with disruptions in our day-to-day -day life, coming out with you know, what might seem simple, so what might seem like simple solutions, but very effective tools which can add a lot, lot of value. I'm delighted that even that is shaping up well. Not only T-Hub, Government of Telangana has created institutions like TASK, the Telangana Academy for Skills and Knowledge, which currently has more than 718 various colleges. Engineering colleges are about 145, Polytechnic about 96, Pharmacy 51, the Masters in Business Administration, you know, Business Schools 22, Degree and Post-Graduation Colleges 403. Between all of them, they have 718 colleges enrolled under TASK. Since the formation of Telangana in the last eight years, TASK has been instrumental in training and skilling 653,189 students. 653,189 students. We have not only trained the students, but we have also trained the trainers. About 14,338 faculty also have been trained. The current student registrations at this point in time in task is about 244,617. Now, not only in Hyderabad, task is not just a center in Hyderabad. We have decentralized. We have set up units in Khamam, Karimnagar, Sirisila, Warangal. We will also be setting up units in Nalgonda, 
Mahbub Nagar, and we are looking at centers in other pa other parts of uh, Telangana as well. More importantly, you know, as I was pointing out, not only um, not only you know the skills part of it, because as we all know, uh, in our day-to-day -day lives as well, we use uh, most of us use smartphones, and in the smartphones, I think every second week we get a notification. Ki software upgrade ho gaya, ab bhi upgrade karlo. If you don't upgrade, and it keeps, and my phone keeps bugging me. I don't know about yours. You know, it keeps asking me if it can be done. You know, when I'm sleeping at 12 o'clock in the night, I'm not very comfortable with that thought. So I do it uh, when I can. But the point is, just like how a phone would update and continue to update its, uh, you know, software, I think all of us also, to keep forging ahead in life, to keep forging ahead in our chosen careers and chosen paths, we also have to keep learning, unlearning. Keep skilling, upskilling, and reskilling. There's no substitute to it, because as the world around us changes and continues to evolve, if we don't grow with it, then we'll be left behind. And of course, apart from the skilling component, as uh, eloquently put by Krishnamachari Srikanth, you know, I have to tell you a, an interesting story about Srikanth. I was a school student. I was a student in school when uh, Chris was playing, Srikanth was playing, and uh, of course, like the rest of my generation. We were all fascinated with this guy, his flamboyance. Now, that was the era when uh, we had uh, uh, Mahindra Amarnath, Sunil Gavaskar, you know, all of them playing test cricket. Uh, and this guy, this was one guy who used to come in swashbuckling, hit everything out of the park. He didn't have the patience, I think. Of course, he had the technique. He had the complete technique, but he was very impatient man. He used to, you know, uh, be very fidgety around uh, uh, in the ground, and he used to move around a lot in the crease. He used to walk almost to the leg empire right after each ball, and his stance was very unique. So we were all huge fans, you know. He was a very flamboyant cricketer. So I went to see him in uh, when he was playing Pakistan. It was India-Pakistan game, 1987, I think it was. Uh, it was uh, held in Lal Bahadur Stadium, and my school was very close. I went to grammar school then, so uh, we all went there. Unfortunately, uh, Chris, in fact. Uh, well, I was hoping he'd score a century or, you know, he would just do a blistering 50 or something. But Chris, you disappointed me that day, man. And of course, you were hurt. Wasim Akram bowled a bouncer outside the off stump. Chris decided that he'll basically hook it, uh, you know, over square leg or mid wicket. I don't know where he was trying to go there. Over the mid wicket or square leg. So he took it outside the off stump. He flicked it or he hooked it. And then the ball took the top edge and hit him, I think, on the left eyebrow. He had 27 stitches. I remember very, very... It's still fresh in my memory. He had to walk from the ground. He had like heavy bleeding. So to see him here in flesh and blood and tell us about the self-belief, I think that is one take-home lesson for me. Because no matter, no matter how stacked up the odds are against you in terms of the challenges which might appear insurmountable at that, any, at that given point of time, as the team of 83 had proved it, self-belief, passion, energy, and most importantly, I think a bit of luck as well. All of this coming together, I think it will really keep you in good stead. So Shrikant Garu, thank you very much uh, for coming all the way from Chennai. And thank you for being a partner of TAS. Thank you for giving that uh, extremely energetic uh, speech. I'm sorry I didn't watch 83 yet. I will certainly watch. I'm a huge, huge... Uh, uh, movie buff, I will watch and I will certainly give you my feedback as well. Once again, uh, sorry for showing up late. I, like I was saying, the last thing I'll say this and I'll close out. The biggest challenge for all of us in governments today is not just about bringing in investments. The one question that I get asked immediately on social media is, is me se Telangana bachon ko kitna mil raha hai? How many Telangana kids are getting employed? Why don't you tell us that? Now, my humble appeal to the youth of my state and the youth of this country as well is, you know, private sector mein apne merit pe, apne talent pe, apne skill pe, apne bal pe aapko moka milega. See, you know, my job is to continue to expand the pie. My job is to continue to bring in investments. My job, Jayesh's job, is to continue to attract investments. If we get into a parochial mode, where I start imposing restrictions and saying ki aap 90% Telangana bachon ko lena padega, then they will simply say, okay, you know, maybe I'll look elsewhere. 
The point is, the more number of factories, the more number of services companies, the more number of enterprises we are able to bring to Telangana, more of the opportunities, more of the chances of one getting gainfully employed. So what really matters is being in a position to be able to latch on to that opportunity which the government is trying to bring in into our state. As the pie continues to grow, I think there will be opportunities for all. Today, Hyderabad has become an investment magnet and also a magnet for a lot of job seekers who want to shift from Bangalore, from Delhi, from Chennai, from other parts of India and come all the way and settle here. In a, in a free country, in a democracy, you cannot stop anybody from you know, uh, uh, moving from one location to another. So my humble appeal to the youth of Telangana is, please utilize task, please utilize the valuable services of our partners, please ensure that you are gainfully skilled and latch on to all the opportunities that are coming your way. So good luck, Jai Hind, Jai Telangana. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your vision and roadmap sets clear directions for us. Thank you also for taking out time and being with us today. Now I request. Now I request Task CEO Shrikant sir uh, to give the vote of thanks. Uh, thank you, Honorable Minister sir. Thank you very much for taking out time from your busy schedule and being present amongst us over here today as we celebrate this momentous occasion of envisaging to skin 1,50,000 with the MOUs that we have entered today. So thank you very much, sir, for your presence. Really appreciate. Apologies for the thing, but then seeing you, no one can stop themselves from taking a selfie with you. So thank you for that also. Uh, would like to thank the Honorable Principal Secretary, Sri Jayesh Ranjan Garu, the guiding force behind TASK and the Vice Chairman of TASK for taking our time, guiding us, helping us uh, reach out to all these various organizations and partner up with them. Thank you very much, Jaisa. And of course, the opener of the Indian team, Krishmachari Srikant. Uh, thank you very much, Krish. Really appreciate the thing where on one phone call from me, you actually took the flight and came here. I really want to thank you, Krish. Thank you very, very much. I would also take this opportunity to thank all the partners who have signed the MOUs today. I think, you know, it's today is the beginning where we are starting our new journey, but we have got miles to go. And I'm sure that with your support, all our colleges, all our youth will be able to achieve a lot. I would also like to thank all the uh, people assembled over here, college management, etc., cetera, uh, you know, for being part of this event, the MOU signing ceremony. Before I end, I would like to hand over a small token of our appreciation to the dignitaries on the dais. <laughs>